Hey guys, I'm gonna show you all how to place an order for direct-to-film transfers from beginning to end, from building your gang sheet to pressing your shirt. So let's go. So the first thing you want to do when you are on the front of our website is you can get to direct to film transfers here or you can even scroll down and find them down here below. Once you click on it, you will go into the layout designer and you will see a few things that pop up. So first you will see your canvas and you will also see the measurements here at the top. Over here on the left hand side, you will see the different size options. Now I typically do my designs between 10 inches and 12 inches, but we're actually gonna do a full gang sheet instead of the individual prints. So let's go down here to one of the five foot gang sheets. I think that is the most popular one. You can get so many designs on there and that makes each design even cheaper per design. So let's go ahead and add in some of our ready to print designs. So up here, you are going to see the library drop down, and we are going to go to print ready. Now you will see several different options, whether something is very trendy right now, whether you are looking for specific pets or animals, all different kinds of goodies. So let's see what is in the trending now section. Lots of really cute designs. Hmm. I think I want to do this really cool My Weekend is Booked. I'm a big book fan, so let's add that in there. Now, the next thing you wanna do is make sure that you size it to what you want. So you have to keep in mind, this is a 22 inch by 60 inch canvas. So if you click on this little pencil icon, it will bring up two boxes and down here in the layer settings area, you will see where the size is. So right now it's measuring 12 inches wide by 12.3 inches high. I think I want to bring this down to 11 inches wide because I think it's gonna go really nicely on a pullover, a sweatshirt. That's what I think of with these book designs. You want a comfy, cozy sweater to wear. So we have that set to 11 inches wide and it also changed the height to 11.3. So let's go in and find another one. Go back up to our library and you can just back out. And let's go see what's in a different category. Now I love the quote section. I can find all different kinds of really cute stuff here. I really like this crystal cat. So let's add this on there. Now I actually think I want to make a couple of shirts in this crystal cat. So I'm gonna show you how to duplicate your image. So you can go back up to your pencil icon and up here at the top box, you're gonna see edit layer. You can choose to swap your image, delete, your layer or we're going to duplicate. So I want to do a total of three shirts. I want two more images to add to my canvas. So we're going to change it to two and then click on duplicate. And it is just going to auto fill into the spaces on your canvas. So it's super easy. You don't have to click and drag things around. Okay, so let's check out the sports section. So you will even see some that will have customizable text color. So this is something really new and I've never seen any other company do this before. So let's bring this in and let me show you what it's all about. So you just go up to your little pencil icon and we are going to click click on edit shape. And from here, you will see the color, you can see pattern and you'll see stroke. So let's change this to, um, let's do a burgundy color. Ooh, or do we wanna do bright red? My high school colors were like a bright red. So let's do that. And then we can even add a stroke color. So we were like red and gold. So let's see if we can find a really good gold to work with. And then we can add our stroke. 
and there we go. So you can completely customize it to your own team colors. You don't have to put the stroke if you only want to do one color, but this is so cool that I have never seen any other place do something like this with their designs. So it's a really cool new feature and we're really excited to bring more designs in like this. So let's check out interests. Here we go. Okay. These are really, really fun designs. And it also has where the and dirty down here at the bottom is clear. It's like knocked out. So that way, whatever you're putting this on, the color of that shirt or bag, it's going to show through in those areas. Okay, let's see what else we have. So we have this one, bruh, formerly known as mom, which is so funny to me. So I really want to add that in there. I have seen that this design is very popular and I definitely think we need a few more of these. Oop. All right, now you will see when there's no other space on the canvas, you'll see where they stack on top of each other. So once you get close to finishing your gang sheet, that's something you want to look for because learning from experience, you will actually uh, sometimes accidentally layer your designs on top of each other without realizing. So since we can't add all of these on there, let's make sure we delete all of those. And I want a little bit more space between these because you also have to keep in mind that once you receive these, you're gonna be cutting them out with your scissors. So you want to make sure you have a good enough space in order to get your scissors through. You can definitely make them as close together as you feel comfortable with. I personally like the little extra space so I'm gonna make sure to keep that for myself. So we have several different designs. Some of them are duplicated and let's go ahead and name our project. So let's just name it Gang Sheet 1 and you're gonna save it. Okay, and after it saves, you will see where you can just add it to your cart. You can even change the quantity if you think you are going to need several of these. And you can even scroll down and see a proof of what your gang sheet is going to look like. You can go in and download your canvas. So that way you can save it for later. You know, just if anything happens, you have it as a backup. And then once you are ready, you can just add it to your cart. And from there, you can either do a new project, you can keep shopping for other materials, you can view your cart or go straight to checkout. And then you just place your order like normal and we print out your designs. All you have to do when you receive them is cut out each individual design and press them on your garment, whether that be a t-shirt, a tote bag, whatever you like. So I really hope this has helped you guys be able to make your own gang sheet and place your order. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave those in the comments or reach out to our amazing customer service team.